I have in front of me here a 150 meg outdoor wireless access point. This particular unit's from Tenda. Um, basically, uh, the key specifications on it is sports 150 meg. Um, it has a wireless range of 60 meters. I uh, could probably do a little bit more than that. Uh, the IP rating on it is IP64, which means it's ideal for outdoor use. And uh, it comes to secu security protocols like uh, WEP, etc., on it. So. Um, so it just means that we can set up uh, secure networks using this as well. There's three primary uses of this. The first one is, is where people uh, are simply want to run a cable directly off their, we we'll say, route or something like that to create an outdoor um, network, uh, Wi-Fi network, we'll say in a car park or uh, in a very large um, uh, warehouse, something like that. Uh, the second point is where they're trying to create a bridge between two buildings, for instance. So they have one building that has internet access and they want to be able to connect the network over to another bridge or another building. So what they do is they simply use two of these units in conjunction, aim them across towards each other and one broadcasts the signal over. And that's really where the security protocols are key importance there to be able to do that securely. And the third one is uh, in conjunction with DVRs, um, and this one of the main reasons we've done this is that if we have, we'll say, um, a number of cameras in a particular building, what we want to do is we want to be able to take the signal from the first building, um, all those cameras into a DVR and send this uh, to the second, uh, back to the main um, internet point where our main DVR is, we'll say, uh, just normally. Now, what, um, what I'll say in relation to that is uh, the, uh, the alternative to using this would be something like, we'll say, the CAMSAT units, which work absolutely perfectly, but they're very, very expensive compared to a very low-cost solution like this. So what we're going to do here is, um, uh, I'll start off and I'll just go through the main points and exactly what comes in, uh, in the box. So this is the outer box that comes in here. We have um, uh, these tie wraps here, which can be used in the back of the unit, simply to tie wrap it onto a, a pole if we decided to mount it. The unit itself can be mounted on a pole or on a wall. We have a power unit here, so you can see the three pin plug, and the power unit will feed into this unit here. And what we do then is we use the Ethernet cable here, which I'm going to demonstrate in a minute, to actually just come along and it's capable of feeding both power, uh, but also there's an input here, so we connect this directly off the router, so that cable coming out can be feeding both power and also um, a connection directly from the, uh, the router. Uh, straight in here. So what we're going to do at this point is, I'll just pick up the main unit. So you can see here, we'll look into the, on the back here, we can see where our tie wraps go in and we could use it this way for mounting it directly onto a, a pole or we'll see we have plugs and screws here which we could actually use for mounting it onto a wall. Okay, so that's the first thing. Uh, if you come along to the front here, there's just one part to slip off here. So we'll just see it here and we'll just see here uh, the key thing here is there's two LAN connections here, but it's the one on the right hand side that you'd be using, which has um, PoE as well as the thing. So what we'll be doing is, we'll just be taking the cable from here, and we'll just clip it across. And it clips in here, okay? So what we're able to do then is we're just going to run the connection directly over and uh, have our connection um, on and now we're in the position where we'll be able to broadcast the signal. We're of course assuming, well we could be just doing a, our own network thing here, but we'll, I'm assuming we'll say we'll have this connected onto a router. So that, that's um, the, just the application on it there. So these the, themselves I think are going to stick very well because we have huge sales, we'll say in the home plugs, things like this, so it sits very much into the same space. Um, if you could imagine, we'll say the scenario, we'll say with um, where we're creating the bridge, we'd have this here, we'd have another unit here, and we'd set one up to broadcast the other to receive. And what we do is we just broadcast the signal directly across. And then finally, we'll say we could have it uh, in the third scenario I was describing, where we'd have a connection directly off the DVR. And what we'd be able to do is broadcast it um, back to a receiving unit again. So it's just really allowing us to create wireless networks and to create. Um, Wi-Fi um, hotspots in a much larger area. So that's it anyway, an overview of the 150 meg outdoor Wi-Fi access point.